Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use Adobe Audition. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So many of you watching this video will be new to Adobe Audition and want to know how to get started. It's not that overwhelming. It can help you not only record great audio, podcasts, but also edit audio for your videos to upload to YouTube, etc. So let's take a look at it. Here is the default interface when we launch. And before we even hit record down here, we we'll want to make sure we've got our audio devices set up correctly. On Windows, that's under Edit and Preferences. On a Mac, it's under the Adobe Audition CC menu, Preferences. Then you want to go to Audio Hardware and make sure you select your audio input and output device. For me, it's my Soundcraft mixing desk. For you, it might be your Focusrite Scarlett or something like that, whatever you use to get audio in and out of your computer. You'll also want to go to Audio Channel Mapping and make sure you're recording the correct channels and also playing back from the correct channels. Because I have a multi-track 12-channel mixer, my inputs and outputs and the audio channel mapping are quite complex. Once you've got that set up, you should be able to hit record and give your audio file a name. I'm going to call it Mike. You can keep the sample rate at 44100. That's decent. Mono or stereo. And always record at 32-bit float. You'll thank me later. Hello, this is Mike Russell, making my first recording inside Adobe Audition. And then to stop, click the stop. Now, it was undesirable to have and then to stop included, so I just used my cursor to select that piece of audio and then to stop and delete it with the delete key. Simple, right? Next, I'm going to increase the volume by taking this little volume knob and make this louder. Hello, this is Mike Russell. But if I'm a bit scared of changing volume knobs and I just want it to be the loudest it can be without distorting, go into the favorites menu, normalize to minus 0.1 dB, or if you don't like being too close to distortion, minus 3 dB. But then it's that earlier tip of recording in 32-bit that you'll thank me for now. You can actually go above 0 dB and you can still rescue your audio and it will never distort. How cool is that? Hello, this is Mike Russell making my first recording inside Adobe Audition. Now I want to maybe delete that long gap there. I can do that by selecting again with my cursor and delete. Really, really easy. I can also top and tail this by selecting just the audio I want and hitting Control or Command on a Mac and T. And there is my audio. Now I might want to use some basic voice effects on this. Let's keep it very simple over here in our effects rack. I can go ahead and add on different things. Now I'm going to set this to default. There should be nothing in here by default. And I might go ahead and add some amplitude and compression dynamics. This is a big effect. I always set things to default before I start. Compressor on and turn the ratio up. That's all I'm going to do. Maybe turn up the makeup gain and then apply it. And you'll see I get nicely compressed audio. Everything at the same level. That's how you apply your first effect. Hello, this is Mike Russell making my first recording inside Adobe Audition. If I then want to make that louder again, favorites, normalize to minus three. Hello, this is Mike Russell making my first watch the level meters. Try not to get too close to these red lights here. And you're doing really well. Finally, let's finish up this how to use Adobe Audition tutorial with a little bit of multi-track. It allows us to mix together multiple clips. And to do it, we click from waveform over to multi-track. We give it a name. Let's call it Mike for simplicity and bring in that voice there. That's going on to track one. I can place it wherever I want on track one. Then I'll go to my media browser, which allows me to browse my hard disk. This is my hard disk here, and I can bring in anything I want. Um, right now, I'm in a production library that I use at Music Radio Creative, where I can get sound effects. So I can actually go ahead and bring a breaker in here. And I can actually hear that breaker before I use it because I've got autoplay on. I suggest you do the same. So whenever you click something, it previews it. So let's bring this in on track two and this in on track three. And then we'll zoom by selecting the time bar up here, moving the scroll wheel. And then we just grab the title of a track and move it by left clicking, popping that there, maybe popping this here. We can then highlight and make a cut, delete, 
and move the rest of my speech out, and we've created our first multi-track mix. Hello, this is Mike Russell, making my first recording inside Adobe Audition. Pretty cool, those effects are pretty loud. If I want, I can move this effect up onto track two, it doesn't need to be on a separate track. Hold down shift, move it up, it stays locked in time. Let go of shift, it goes all over the place. Hold shift down, and it's good. So if I want to turn those effects down, just take the volume knob over here, turn it down a bit. Hello, this is Mike Russell, making my first recording inside Adobe Audition. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I want to save it as an audio file. Multi-track, mix down, entire session. There it is. Trim it down by selecting the whole audio I want to keep. Control or Command T. Hello, this is Mike Russell. There's my mixed waveform. And then to save it out, file, save as, choose my audio of choice, whether it's wave, MP3, or all of these other wonderful formats as well. And we'll call this, yeah, Mike Mix Down. Makes sense, doesn't it? Click OK, and that file is now saved to my hard disk for sharing or uploading as I see fit. I hope you've enjoyed my how to use Adobe Audition introduction tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music radio creative.com